Hi, this is Ryan Leopold here, and today we're going to talk about uh, one of the biggest pieces that helps people understand what they qualify when it comes to a mortgage is understanding debt to income ratios or the debt to income ratio calculation. So let's go through that real quick here. So I use an example here uh, of a gross monthly income. So let's just say it's a household income of $5,000. Again, gross meaning that's before taxes are taken out and um, and uh, any 401k contributions, anything like that. So gross monthly income of 5,000. Lenders max, uh, they'll allow to go to, towards debt in any given month is about 45%. So you can see that leaves us with a, about $2,250. So $2,250 left over that can go towards a total debt payment. Okay. Then the bank is always going to take off minimum payments that come up on your credit report. So for the case of this example, we have minimum payments on credit cards of about 100 bucks a month, car loan of about $300 a month, and student loans about $75 a month. And again, this is what comes up on a credit report. So the total month...